Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and today we're going to have a look at the modular BGA and what I think is the most profitable BGA setup you can run at the moment. Um, I'm going to do another video on probably a faster BGA but I think this is the most profitable BGA. I'm going to do a couple of videos looking at the modular BGA because it's really cool um, and a few things we can do with that to uh, make lots of money basically. Um, doesn't require any edits to things so this will work on console and on PC um, so none of my funny XML editing uh, before we get to that if you're new to the channel click the subscribe button turn on notifications and like the video um, so we are on Carmsden which has the 250 kilo base game BGA available and um, we're going to do a comparison of that versus what I think is the most profitable BGA um, using the modular BGA system um, most of the base game BGAs are about the same so I've got a trailer full of manure here and we can expect to make about a 900% gain on just selling that manure to a sell point um, and we're going to have a look at how much money we make from a trailer full of manure into each of the setups and how long it takes to process that because one of the problems I have with BGAs in FS22 is they take a very long time to do anything So let's stick our trailer full of manure in. We'll reset the time to 11 a.m. once it's full. And then we will uh, fast forward until it's empty. No, oh, pretty much there. So yeah, I am using console commands to manipulate the clock. We can't actually fit the whole trailer full in. Um, so we're gonna go into our productions menu and start this guy up and then we'll fast forward some time a bit and we'll be able to tip the rest in and we'll see at what point we finish and how much we make um, because you know with the BGA for me the two things are how much money you're going to make from selling your products and how long does it take to sell them because as I say some of the BGAs are really slow um, so if we look at this one we are looking I am on one day months we're looking at 24 cycles so 24 times 500 about 12,000 litres a day of manure so it's going to take a day and a bit to process this um, so what we'll do is we'll jump out of the tractor and I have sleep anywhere mod and we're going to sleep until 9am whilst the uh, BGA processes for us because otherwise we're going to have to wait a long time and no one wants a video of me wittering on for a day of farms in time. Right, so how are we looking in our BGA? We have still almost half of it left. And so far we've made three grand. So let's speed up time and we'll see at what point we finish processing. I'll, uh, I'll skip this bit and I'll get back to you in a moment. It is now 11 40 p.m. the next day, and we have finished. So that's one day, 12 hours, and 40 minutes to process our trailer load of manure, and we made £5,525 or euros. So let's jump ahead to the next day. So we've got some daylight, and we'll build ourselves a modular BGA. I'm not going to go through all of the components of the modular BGA system. Go and watch Mr. CDP's awesome video on it if you want that. Um, what I'm going to do is show you what I think is the most profitable BGA setup at the moment. Um, and that uses the small fermenter. So I'll put some numbers up on the screen now. And basically, although it's the smallest, it's actually twice as profitable as the rest of the BGAs. Or as the, of the fermenters that are built in to the modular BGA and then we are not going to use a slurry fermenter because the small fermenter makes more than the slurry fermenter you can if you want use a secondary fermenter it gives you a little bit of a boost on income and then we're going to use the generator which um, makes a massive impact on our income so what we want is going to construction and production and it's under factories um, 
you can take your pick of which of these you can afford. Um, I'm not too worried about beats, so I'm going to go for the large one, purely because it holds a lot more, because it's large. Um, you could use several small ones. The small ones are actually slightly more cost effective, I think, um, but I'm going to go for a big one here. Um, then we need to go in to um, decoration and other, um, because you need a ramp to be able to tip into this, so that you actually need to tip into it. The trigger is up at the top we need to put on free mode for this as well um, so that's the start um, I gave myself 10 million at the start so we'll see how much this costs as well um, that's the one that's built into the base game so 800 or into the map 875,000 pounds so we'll see if we spend less than that building our new BGA so we want the small fermenter these are 85,000 each um, and we're going to put down four of them um, and then we are because we want to maximize the money we're going to put down the secondary fermenter and you want the la the second one because that makes more money and we're just going to stick that in there it doesn't fit brilliantly with the small fermenters but it works and then we want generator number one and um, you don't produce enough methane to make it worse having generator number two and um, just use generator number one and then if you want to do slurry um, you can put down one of these slurry points and that will work just fine because you can ferment slurry in the small fermenter and that's our BGA and we've spent 760,000 ish so a bit less than the cost of the BGA that's built into the map. We're going to zero our money again. We're going to fix the time to 11 a.m. We should this time be able to fit in our full trailer load because this um, receptacle holds a lot more. Um, it is slightly more complicated because you have to switch on each of the elements. So whilst we tip in, if we go into productions now, so we have that was the original BGA that we had. We have our big bunker. We need to set that onto distributing. We have our fermenters. We want to set electricity and methane and digestate onto distributing. And then we want to turn on manure. We need to do that for each one, and this is the thing that's a bit of a pain. But once you've got it set up, it's just fine. And the nice thing about this, because it's modular, as you earn more money, you can keep expanding it. So we then want the post fermenter. We want to turn that on, and we want to set those to distributing. And then the electric charge, we set to on and on and this is the generator that will sell it uh, if you're using slurry then you just drive up to the slurry trigger and you would turn on slurry and then in the production bit in here you would put this to distributing as well and so now we can just fast forward some time and see what happens with how long it takes us to process this all and how much money we make compared to our similar priced um, BGA over here. Um, so things only happen in these on the hour. And um, so you'll see at the moment we have, oh, we have just crossed the hour. So all of our manure has been sent to the different fermenters. Um, and we've got electricity, methane and digestate all being produced and distributed. We're waiting. We have electricity going through our generator. We've just sold it already and we're waiting for digestate to get in to our secondary fermenter. Um, and we have already made a reasonable amount of money. We need to keep an eye on this. We've only got 1600 litres left to process. It does take longer to sell. Um, so we will just pause when we finish processing which is there 
uh, stop the time. So in five and a half hours, we have processed all of the manure through the fermenters. So we can now switch those off. Uh, we still have electricity and digestate that we are distributing. We are processing. We are processing the digestate quicker than it comes in. So we are distributing electricity and methane. The problem you have is you do get a little bit of a backup of electricity. Um, so we will keep an eye on one of our fermenters. We've already made eight thousand pounds. So we've already made more in a lot less time. And we're now just waiting for the electricity just to distribute and sell. So, yeah, in fact, next hour, our fermenters are empty of electricity and methane. And I forgot to turn that one off. Um, and digestate. So how's our post-fermenter? Our post-fermenter has fermented all the digestate, easy for me to say, and still has a little bit of just minimizing some spreadsheets in the background. Still recording, cool. Has a little bit of methane and electricity to go and the backup slightly is our um, generator. So we'll keep an eye on that and uh, wait until we've sold all of that. But remember, we're still on the same game day. Uh, whereas we took, we and there we go. So Still got a little bit of electricity to dis to distribute and sell there actually so we'll just jump to the next hour so we'll jump ahead to 6 p.m there we go that should be everything i believe um so the secondary fermenter is now empty we've sold pretty much all the electricity i'm going to call that good enough um so it's now 6 p.m we started at 11 a.m so that's seven hours rather than one and a half days and rather than five thousand pounds we've now got twelve and a half thousand pounds twelve and a quarter thousand pounds um so i'm just quickly going to do some percentages and i'll come back to you so i've just done my quick bit of maths and for a bga that costs about the same to buy yes if you're on calms then you get that one built in um, i'm just going to change the time so it's not so dark um what you can do on Carmsden is demolish that BGA and you don't get very much for it. Oh, um, I, at one point I think it was worth more than that. But you know, if, if you're looking to get yourself a BGA and you're looking at that kind of expenditure, um, then this BGA has done it in 20% of the time and paid us out more than double you could run a single fermenter probably and uh, process that really quickly and i'll just quickly do that test and i'll come back to you and tell you how long it took i would do that test but because of the way it works it's distributed the manure to all four but yeah we can do some simple maths and if we're processing manure four times slower it's going to take us 28 hours which is still a lot less than 36 we'll still make all the same amount of money um, if you don't have the secondary digester you make a little bit less but it's not massive um, so you could have a bga that was really profitable um, that was just the smallest bunker a single fermenter and the generator that will still make you that huge gain in cash it'll just take a bit longer to process but it's still quicker than that guy and the next video i'm going to do actually is probably going to be the most cost effective efficient so i'll put together a really small bga and we'll see just how much you know show that we can still make loads of money by not spending much on the bga um the the modular bga is better than some of the small bgas that have been released recently so the best bga available at the moment is the modular bga um, if you want to get into doing bga type stuff use the modular bga have i said that enough so i think we'll call it a day there um this setup costs about the same takes a fifth of the time makes you double the money no brainer thanks for watching folks catch you next time